Magandang araw, pag-aaralan natin ngayon ay Division of Fractions. Alamin muna natin ang reciprocal. Kapag sinabing reciprocal, ang numerator ay magiging denominator at ang denominator ay magiging numerator. Halimbawa, 3 fifth. Ang reciprocal nito ay 5 over 3. Next, 2 over 9. Ang reciprocal naman nito ay 9 over 2. Next, 8. Kung mapapansin nyo, walang denominator. Al tandaan natin na ang whole number ay may denominator na 1. Ibig sabihin, ang 8 ay equal sa 8 over 1. At ang reciprocal nito ay 1 over 8. Now, let us divide the following. If possible, express your answer in lowest term. Alamin muna natin ang step. First, keep the first fraction. Second, multiply the first fraction to the reciprocal of the second fraction. Example number one, we have one fifth divided by two thirds. Keep the first fraction, that is one fifth. Change natin ang divide sa times. Then flip natin o kukunin natin ang reciprocal ng two thirds. That is three over two. So, nagagawin, multiply 1 times 3. That is 3. Then, multiply 5 times 2. The answer is 10. Can we express 3 over 10 in lowest term? The answer is no. Therefore, final answer natin is 1 fifth divided by 2 thirds is 3 over 10. Example number 2, 7 fourths divided by 1 half. Keep natin ang 7 fourths, change, divide sa multiply, then get the reciprocal of 1 half, that is 2 over 1. Then, multiply natin 7 times 2, at ang sagot ay 14. Multiply naman ang denominators, we have 4 times 1. That is 4. The question is, can we express 14 over 4 in lowest term? The answer is yes. Let us find out the LCD. Saan ba pwedeng i-divide ang 14 at 4? At yan ay sa 2. So, 14 divided by 2 is 7. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. At pwede pa natin tong i-convert sa mixed. Divide lang natin ang 7 over 2. The answer is 3 and 1 half. Therefore, 7 fourths divided by 1 half. The answer is 3 and 1 half. Example number 3. 2 ninths divided by 3 over 2. Keep natin ang 2 ninths. Next, change natin ang divide sa times. Next, flip natin ang 3 over 2 or kukunin natin ang reciprocal. And that is 2 thirds. Multiply 2 times 2. The product is 4. Then, multiply 9 times 3. The product is 27. The question is, can we express 4 over 27 in lowest term? And the answer is no. 
Kasi ito ay hindi na pwedeng express sa lowest term. So, ibig sabihin, 2 ninths divided by 3 over 2. The quotient is 4 over 27. Method number 2. Ngayon, gagamit naman tayo ng cross multiplication. Example number 1. 4 over 11 divided by 2 fifth. Pag sinabing cross multiplication, multiply mo ang numerator ng first fraction sa denominator ng second fraction. So, ang numerator ay 4 at ang denominator ng second fraction ay 5. Multiply 4 times 5. The product is 20. Next, multiply 11 times 2. The product is 22. Can we express 20 in lowest term? The answer is yes. So we have to find out the LCD. So 20 over 22, ang LCD nito ay 2. So 20 divided by 2, the quotient is 10. Then, 22 divided by 2, the quotient is 11. Therefore, 4 over 11 divided by 2 fifth, the quotient is 10 over 11. Next, example number 2. 3 fourth divided by 7 over 10. Multiply 3 times 10. The product is 30. Next, multiply 4 times 7. The product is... 28. Therefore, can we express 30 over 28 in lowest term? The answer is yes. Hanapin natin ang LCD ng 30 at 28. Saan ba siya pwedeng i-divide? We can divide 30 and 28 to 2. So, 30 Divided by 2, the quotient is 15. And 28 divided by 2, the quotient is 14. And we can still simplify this. Let's change this to mixed number. We'll divide 15 by 14 and the answer is 1 and 114. Therefore, 3 fourth divided by 7 over 10. The quotient is 1 and 1 over 14. Example number 3. 1 fourth divided by 9 over 7. Multiply 1 times 7. The product is 7. Next, multiply 4 times 9. The product is 36. Can we express 7 over 36 in lowest term? The answer is no. Therefore, 1 fourth divided by 9 over 7, 
the quotient is 7 over 36. Thank you for watching.